The XPS 13 is an incredible ultrabook. It's got a beautiful design, a comfortable build, and you can take it with you wherever you go. But in this video, I wanted to test the XPS 13 doing something it's clearly not designed for gaming, and see how it performs. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. So if you didn't see my review of this laptop, which I provided a link to below, this is the 9360 model of the XPS 13, which is KB Lake Refresh Architecture and Integrated Graphics. Honestly, I didn't have that high hopes going into this gaming test, but the first game I tested was Overwatch. So obviously I started out with pretty low settings, I had it on a 1280 by 720 resolution, with triple buffering turned off, I capped the FPS at 30, and I had it on low graphics quality. When I actually started to do some gameplay on this, though, it held consistent at 30 frames per second, the frame rate never dropped which made the gameplay very tolerable. Obviously 30 frames per second is not ideal, but it's playable. Playing as Hanzo, I was able to get several headshots, even on characters with very small hitboxes like Widowmaker. And actually at this point I should mention the exact configuration of the XPS 13 that I have. This model comes with a 3.1GHz Intel Core i5 7200U CPU, 8GB of LP DDR3 RAM, a 256GB solid state drive, and Intel HD 520 integrated graphics. So with that said, I did want to test Overwatch running at slightly higher settings, because everything at low looks pretty awful. My medium configuration if you want to call it that was high graphics quality and a 1366x768 resolution, still capped at 30 frames per second, and playing at these settings, the best I can say about it is that it was playable. Frame rates definitely started to dip, especially in high combat situations, down to about 22 frames per second, and I also started to run into some serious screen tearing. In short, I wouldn't be able to play at these settings safely in any kind of competitive match, so it really only works for casual gameplay. My last Overwatch configuration was epic graphics quality and a 1920x1080 resolution, and this is where it just stopped being fun to play at all. The game still ran, but setting at any kind of headshots was absolutely impossible, especially in combat, and even hitting people just took a lot of luck. This is where you're really going to notice the XPS 13's integrated graphics card, and honestly, there's not a lot to say except for the fact that if you're wanting to game at these settings, you're going to need a different machine. Now the next game I tried was Rocket League, and this one I tried at a 1280x720 resolution at the start, with render quality and render detail set to high, and all graphical effects turned on. This time I just set the FPS cap to 62, and I have to say, Rocket League ran quite well in 720p. Even with all the special effects enabled, there was no point where the game started stuttering, and the frame rate never dropped below around 26 frames per second. I was definitely able to score some goals, or at least to be more honest, my gameplay didn't suffer any worse than it normally does. When I changed texture detail and world detail to performance rather than high quality, I actually got even better performance, even though Rocket League ran at a slightly lower FPS overall, and the graphics quality definitely lo didn't look as good, there were no frame rate drops whatsoever, and it felt like I could be playing on a real gaming laptop, just with the settings way way down. I did find it interesting that the XPS 13 handled Rocket League better than Overwatch, but honestly I don't want to make too much of that. The last game I tried was Insurgency, this time with a 1920x1080 resolution and medium settings across the board. The game definitely ran slower than I'm used to, but it never dropped too far below 30 frames per second, so again, the game was definitely playable. So overall, I guess the conclusion about the XPS 13 is pretty much what you'd expect. Yes, you'll be able to do some casual gaming on this machine, the fact that I was able to play games like Rocket League, Overwatch, and Insurgency at all is testament to that. That, but if you're looking for a really good gaming experience, one where you're not limited to pretty basic games or really low settings, you're going to need another machine. It really comes down to, what are you looking for in a laptop? If that's gaming performance, I don't think we've quite reached the level where an Ultrabook can match the kind of configuration that would be desirable. At the same time though, if you're more interested in portability, a really comfortable typing experience, or a really beautiful design and gaming a secondary, then I would wholeheartedly recommend this machine. But with that said, let me know what you think of the XPS 13's gaming performance in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I post new videos if you enjoyed this one. And with that said, I will see you next time.